Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to withdraw money from BitKit. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we actually withdraw from our BitKit account here? So the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the BitKit app and lock in its right account. Now from here, we need to go to our assets. Now in the assets section, what we need to do is we need to click on the withdraw button that you see at the center of your screen. So in this case, once you click on it, you'll have the option to choose from the available crypto on your account. So we have BTC, USDT, ETH, and BGB. In this case, we want to, for example, we want to withdraw our B, B, uh, Bitcoin here. Let's go ahead and click on BTC. Now you have two options. We have on-chain withdrawal and internal transfer. Now internal transfer is a way for you to transfer your crypto within the platform itself. So you'll be able to send your tokens to a different user by just entering their email address. But if you choose on-chain withdrawal, you'll be able to use the blockchain to send your crypto or token. In this case, maybe for example, I wanna use internal transfer. Now, if you choose internal transfer here, what you need to do is you just need to enter their email address and the withdrawal amount and just click on withdraw. Now, you all could you could also use the, their mobile number or UID. Now, this case, if you choose the other method here, like for example, we are going to use uh, the on-chain withdrawal here, you need to provide further information. Like for example, the withdrawal address, which is typically provided by the recipient itself. You can also use the scanner here if you want to. So you'll be able to scan for the QR code that the user has for you to transfer it. Now, also, you need to make sure that the withdrawal network is actually correct and that user is currently using that specific uh, type of network as well. Now, not using the correct network here would lead you on losing your cryptocurrency. That's why choosing the correct network that both of you users are currently using is really important because you will lose your cryptocurrency if you're not using the correct ne network. Now, also, we have the withdrawal amount here, which is from the name itself, the amount that you want to withdraw. Now, if you want to proceed, you could go ahead and just click on withdraw here and you'll be able to confirm and make the transfer itself. But a, a few warnings here, you first have to have your account verified for you to actually make a the withdrawal itself. So you might need to provide some IDs and proof of verification for in order for you to proceed. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.